welcome to my channel Sofa Serenity where I talk to you about my sewing journey. Welcome back if you're a regular viewer and if you're new here I hope you enjoy this vlog and consider subscribing. So welcome to this week's Friday Sews where I talk to you about what I've been doing in the world of sewing. I'll start by saying it began with a wonderful sewing social, the Staffordshire Social and with the lovely ladies that <clears throat> are there on a regular basis and also got to meet up with the lovely Becky as well from what Beck sews. So me and Becky met up about nine o'clock and hit the charity shops and had a little mooch around those, a little catch up before we headed off to the social. Now I um, took along me a couple of things. I didn't really know what I was going to be doing and on my last week's Friday sews I really wasn't sure what I'd, I'd take with me but in the end I did get a couple of things done. The first thing that I was able to get done was the desi skirt which is the bias cut skirt from seamworks now for those of you that aren't familiar with what bias cut means the bias is a technique it's a technique of cutting out on the diagonal grain so at a 45 degree angle of the fabric rather than the straight or the cross grain and the technique causes the fabric to fall and drape in like a slinky way um, hence getting a bias cut um, you tend to find it in slinky silky dresses um, and skirts so there's a lot of different companies that um do some really nice bias cut skirts there is one by tasuti patterns can't think of the name but i'll put a picture in i think it might be the lowest skirt or oh, no that's a dress actually i'm not sure but i'll put the picture in and the name vicky sews also does one and also so does sew over it but i decided to go for the seam works by des um the desi by seam works for two reasons one it's free because i subscribed to seam work so it was in my library i didn't have to buy the pattern and two um i'm going to do a review on seam work so i'm keen to make a few more seam work patterns before i actually um review it but anyway i made the desi by seam work and this is the skirt it hasn't been hemmed yet because i just need to do that and i'm contemplating doing a rolled hem because of the slinky fabric and um, the thing that i liked about this skirt is it actually is in four pieces so you can see there is um a seam line if you can see it across here which just gives it a really nice little funnel at the bottom and you do have to be careful with a bias cut dress anyway about if it's directional because obviously you're cutting it on the 45 degree angle so if it is a directional print um you will have it kind of skew with it i tried to do it once with some heart fabric and had this beautiful vision of this bias cut dress with heart fabric but then when i actually um went to put it on because the hearts were directional or in one way it looked a bit weird so yeah you do have to just be mindful of that but this really wasn't a directional print and this fabric was something i got from barry's quite a while back i think last year at sobrum and it's like a silky polyester fabric and perfect for um wearing with a pair of pumps um, so there we go you can see it skims the hips there and then it really flares out quite nicely because of that separate panel and it's an elasticated waist um, and I'm really happy with it. I'm not sure what size I made. Um, I will put on it what size I made. I think it might have been the 12 or the 14, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, yes, very, very happy with it. This was just a wearable toile, and I'm very happy. Just need to hem it. So with the Desi skirt, it's important. I think I went off the hip measurements. Um, the waist measurements, obviously, it's elasticated waist, so you don't really need to worry too much about that. Um, but yeah, I feel I'm really happy with the fit on this. So I just need to get it hemmed. And then, yeah, I think this would be nice with a little black jumper. Um, maybe a polo neck with the little black max, t max tee, which, you know, I'm a fan of. But yeah, and it's a really, really quick sew as well. For those of you that's watched me for a while, you'll know that I do struggle with skirt patterns. Don't really like how they look. I think it's because I've got quite a short... Um, between my kind of below my waist and my hips it's quite a short space so I don't find that they flatter my figure very much but I am really happy with that skirt so yeah I think I will make some more of those I mean what I might do is now I know that bias cut style does suit me I might look at doing a bit of battle of the bias cut skirts and I can definitely try and definitely try the sew over it skirt because I'm a pattern insider I could um 
I've got that pattern for free so I could look at making that up and maybe if you're interested let me know and I'll have a crack at making the Vicky Sews one and then also the Tasuti patterns one and then give you kind of my recommendation on which one I like the best maybe let me know what you think the thing that I got done at the social was I twirled the peony dress body the peony dress is the wonderful dress that's been made that's been designed by fabric godmother and there's been some stunning versions when i first saw it i wasn't really sure about it but i actually do really like it now and i've seen some really stunning versions of it and lots of people that i know have made it and said how brilliant it is so i have had a go i tried on um one of my friends versions um at the weekend it was heather's had made the peony dress so i tried that on and um it fitted but very very tight so i sized up and i think i'd made a size 14 let me just check so i made the size um 14 top which fits lovely on the top however it's just a little bit tight when it comes into the waist so i think i'm gonna have to grade out to a 16 on the waist but i also think that i need to do a sway back as well so this is my bodice i'm going to do a sway back as well like that um before i size up um yeah so i'm going to do a sway back on it because i always need a sway back because i will get that excess at the top here and then what i might do is let the side seams out a little bit and the dart so this pattern has 12 darts in total and it's got four darts in the back and four darts in the front it's got a dart at the bottom here and then a dart in the shoulder here um so i'm going to let the dart out a little bit and let the side seam out a bit because that might give me what i need um once i've done the sway back as well because by doing a sway back it will give me a bit more room um that might be enough to put the zip in but yeah i do just need to put the zip in we did pin me in it and as i say it was a little bit tight at the back but how cute is this fabric this was on the swaps table and now part of me is like i want to do the whole thing in this dress and have it as a wearable twirl so yeah that's my peony dress um twirl the one thing that i have heard about the peony dress is that it does take a lot of fitting to get it right a lot of people say it comes up quite big i haven't found that myself um at all it feels like it fits me the way that you know for my measurements it should bar the sway back but yeah we'll see um it's not meant to be tight tight it's meant to have a little bit of room in it so yeah we'll see i'm going to do the adjustments with the sway back and see where we get to so that's a kind of work in progress so that's all the sewing that i've done this week other things that i have done this week though is i did actually crack open my cricket machine so my Cricut machine is here with um, my Easy Press, and I did the practice, um, the practice activities. So for the cutting machine, which is here, um, you get to, to create something on the app. It talks you through it, and then you get to print it out. So I've printed out this sticker with cr Cricut on there or cry cut however you want to say it so that was my little tester of the cutting machine and then this was my tester of using the heat press so this came with it and then it just taught you through how to heat press it to get the vinyl to be on there which very very happy with so yeah i had a little play with that downloaded the software onto my phone and to my laptop and i've already started to think of some really cool designs that i want to make but yeah i need to I need to get some stock really because I really want to make some cards and I didn't get any card stock with my um, machine it would have been really nice to have hand made my valentine's card and they have loads of ideas on the app so yeah that is one of the things that I want to kind of start looking at and then that moves me on to what I wanted to talk about today and that's about loss of sojo um, I know it affects quite a lot of people this time of year and it's definitely got me this week especially obviously i went away on my sewing weekend which was absolutely fantastic did a lot of sewing so i did feel a little bit sewed out after that because we'd done a lot of sewing in one space but i think 
I've talked to you about my struggle with my weight gain that I've had over the last year and a half since I got married. And that has always affected my sewing because I'm always thinking about the size that I want to be and not the size that I am. And it's really, really quite hard to kind of cope with. On top of that, I am going through the perimenopause, which I'm sure a lot of you know how that feels. So I'm struggling with my weight anyway. I, until a year and a half ago, have been a size 8 to 10 for quite a long time. And I've, as a result of that, I've got a lot of handmade clothes in my wardrobe that don't fit me. I've got a lot of things that I want to make, but don't feel like they will suit my larger figure. And yeah, it's just affecting my sewing journey. And don't get me wrong, there are some things that I make where I feel really nice in them. Um, but yeah, it has started to affect me. So... As a result of that, I decided that I needed to just take a little back step from sew a little back seat from sewing or put sewing on the back burner for a, for a little while, especially garment sewing. And really try and um, focus on what my sewing practice is going to look like in the next couple of weeks because I don't want to continue to do something that's kind of depressing me a little bit. I also want to um, now the weather's getting nicer, I want to start to do some exercising and try and, um, you know, get a little bit fitter and lose a little bit of weight so I can feel happy with myself. I'm not bothered about getting back down to the size that I was, but I would like to feel a bit more comfortable in my own skin. Now, what I decided to do was, um, and I've been reading quite a lot of blogs on, on blogs on this, and, you know, I've never really, I've always struggled with my weight, um, but I have had times where I have found a plan that really works for me and been able to keep my weight. I don't want to say under control because I don't like to use the word control, but manageable in a healthy lifestyle way where I've been able to get down to a goal weight and then eat healthy in the week and then eat what I want at the weekends. And that's really worked for me until obviously I got married when I'm holiday and things just kind of menopause kicked in, perimenopause kicked in and things kind of lost of control i lost control basically um and what i've been reading on reading about is it's about having a why um i think since i got married my why isn't big enough for keeping healthy and keeping the weight off um so it started to make me realize that i need to reassess what my why is because before i got married my why was my wedding day and my wedding dress and that was a really big incentive to eat well and um you know keep my weight where it needed to be in a healthy 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 category so what i decided to do was look, have a look at my wardrobe my wardrobe had got into a bit of a mess um so i decided to get everything out and look at sort out what i was wearing what i wasn't wearing what i wanted to wear and couldn't etc and off the back of that decided to get rid of some clothes that i just don't like for one reason or another which i'll talk about in a minute and then also fall back in love with the wardrobe that I have got that fits me currently. And some of those makes that I've got that I love, that I'd love to get back into. And have that as my why. So forget about scales and weight and all of that kind of thing. But really get into what are my whys from a hobby and sewing point of view. And that's really helped me. I'm feeling really motivated to eat a bit healthier and... and um, my mindset's changed a little bit. So some of the things that um, I looked through and I really loved that don't fit me anymore. Um, well, there was a couple of things, really. There's two main items of clothing that really stood out for me. One of those is my Sirocco jumpsuit, which I absolutely love. So my Sirocco jumpsuit that I made in a navy kind of celestial galaxy print that i got in a so Haley jane box i'll put a picture in of it i absolutely love that but i can't wear it at the moment it's too um small for me um and i absolutely love that the other outfit that i absolutely love that actually i haven't worn anywhere i made it struggled with the zip because it was one of the first things that i made and then I would think I was making it for a wedding that I was going to and I didn't get it finished in time because I couldn't, didn't finish the zip up. 
So in the end, I didn't do, but didn't wear it. But then I went back to it, fixes it, and absolutely loved it. And it's the Vogue jumpsuit V. Oh God, I can't think what it's called, but I'll put a picture in. I absolutely love this. Now there is no way I would fit into that now, but I really want to wear it. It's never had an outing apart from for the for, for the photography that I did. So yeah i'd really like to get this i'd really like to get back into it again because it's a gorgeous 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 dress in a lady mccallroy crepe crepe morricane morricane crepe and i just love it so yeah i'm gonna put that in if i think of any other if i'm looking through my grid and i can remember any other outfits that i wanted to talk to you about i'll i'll pop in there as well um that i really really liked but yeah those were two of my favorites that i look back at and it really distresses me that i can't wear those and obviously i want to make some more sirocco's because i do love it but i just don't want to make them at the way i am now oh that's the other one that i've got the sally jumpsuit as well by closet core um that's made in a slightly bigger sizes but not as big as i am now and again i couldn't wear that and i really like that as well so i'll put a picture of that in as well so there's a couple of things that really like made me think oh i really want to wear those um so yeah, that really helped me to kind of feel a little bit more inspired. And then the other dress that I really like that I had is another one of my early mates, which was the Lyra dress, which I made in a really cheap fabric that was like a polyester. I can't believe I used this to make my first Lyra, my first collar, my first button placket, my first everything. Um, so I made this Lyra dress and I absolutely love it. I'll put a picture in. And again, doesn't fit me at the moment. It was made in a size three. I'm now currently a size six in a Tilly, so there's no way I can get into it. And I absolutely love it. I wore it to London to go and see a show with my friends and felt stunning in it. So that's another one. And I also have one, two, three, four, five, six items of clothing that I want to talk to you about that I am, I'm actually going to be getting rid of, which is really, really difficult um, to do, but I really, really need to... Um, I really, really need to do it because they're just sat in there and I'm not going to wear them. I know I'm not going to wear them. So I'll go through those. Okay, so let's have a look at some of these clothes. So let me talk about the ones where I did like the pattern, but I didn't like the fabric in the end. So the first top is the Anthea blouse. Now, this is one that I really, really love the pattern. I really, really love this on me, but I just don't like the dark fabric against my face i love this shirt i love the process of binding the sleeves bound top i've got a gorgeous little kind of the machines label there but yeah i'm just i just don't like the fabric i like the fabric but just not for a top so yeah i think it was just the wrong choice in fabric but yeah, so this one I'm going to gift to the charity shop because it's actually really nicely made. I'm really happy with the finish on it. I just need to prop it in the wash. Um, but but it, that can go to the charity shop and hopefully somebody will love that as much as um, I enjoyed making it. So there's that one. With the Anthony blouse, I do want to make some more, but I think they need to be in more vibrant colours. And I also would like to make the, the Anna Allen Anthea blouse dress because that would really, really suit me, I think. So... I'm not getting rid of this because I don't like the pattern. I love the pattern. I just made a wrong fabric choice and they're really just wrong colour choice. Now, this next one is a Vogue and I can't remember what the number is. I will find it out and I'll put it in here. And I made this in a fabric I got from um, a Stitch and Ink box, which was gifted to me. Now, this fabric is beautiful, but it isn't really my kind of fabric. Um, now, I made this dress and I like the dress and... The thing that appealed to me was you could do some colour blocking with it because at the back it's got a frill at the back that you could use to colour block um, and that really appealed to me. And there's a couple of things wrong with this. The fabric I just don't like, it's too floral for me and also this is how the pattern has it meant to be but I don't like it because the shoulders are a little bit too low, they need to be a little bit high, higher so I need to work on the fit on this. now. I so yeah the, the shoulders come like down there which I don't like and that is what it looks like on the model on the pattern but I just don't like that look it's like a drop but just looks like it's too big for me so yeah this is one that I'm just going to get rid of again that's going to go to the charity shop it's well made it just isn't for me but it's not that I don't like the pattern pattern's fine but yeah just don't like the fabric Okay, so the next ones are ones that I like the fabric and I love the fabric, but I just don't like the pattern. 
So the first one is a fairly recent make, I think in the summer. I'm just looking at my computer when I talk about these. So, And this was what I got in the Confident Capsule Collection Summer. And it was this beautiful little Johnny fabric, which I absolutely loved. I think it's a beautiful fabric. I just don't like the pattern. It's the Harmony top and it's just a bit too frilly for me. I don't know because I do love a frill, but yeah, there's just, I don't like this bit. <laughs> so again, I think I'm going to give that to the charity shop. It's a beautiful, beautiful top. It's finished really nicely. Um, it's got a facing. Um, it's all overlocked inside. Um, hemmed, pressed. Yeah, but just doesn't suit me. So again, I'm going to charity shop this because, yeah, it just... The top's not, I'm not going to wear it, basically, even though I love the fabric. And then this next dress is the Ilma dress and top by, I don't know who this is by. Who is this by? Named Patterns. I did this for a post for, um, uh, for So Confident, this beautiful Italian viscose satin. Um, love the love the fabric but I just don't like the dress I just I'm not going to wear it so again that is another one that's going to the charity shop and then my final two are skirts now I talked about this earlier on in this vlog I'm not a skirt lover um, so I kind of knew I wasn't going to like these but I wanted to make them because got to try these things haven't you this is by styler it's the rona wrap skirt and i tried it but i don't like it on me um i'll put a picture in um it's just made in this navy viscose um, it's a bit crazy because it's been in my wardrobe it's just not for me <sighs> I'm, I'm funny about skirts anyway because of my waist uh yeah and i just didn't like this on me i did it with the t-shirt and yeah i'm just never gonna wear that so again that's going to the charity shop and then finally, this is a sew over it pattern. Now, this one didn't look that bad on me, but again, I'm not going to make it. It was, it was the sew over it free ruby skirt. Lovely pattern, but yeah, I forgot to put interfacing here as well, which didn't help. But yeah, um, it's nice, but I just wish it looked nice on me, but I just don't like it. So again, that's another one that I'm going to be getting rid of. So yeah, they are all going to the charity shop. Um, yeah pretty sharpish to be honest with you but it was therapeutic it's quite hard to let go of these clothes that you spend like time and energy making but i'm not gonna wear them so let's put them out into the universe for someone else to wear okay so that's it so my wardrobe's looking all tidy i've got all my clothes that fit me currently in one part and then the clothes that i really want to wear in another part and I'll have to see how I get on with really focusing on my reason why I want to lose the weight and see if that helps um but if I can't lose the weight and this is the size I'm going to be then I'll have to accept that and that will be a process in itself um but at the moment I'm not ready to give up yet I want to try and try and get a bit healthier so yeah that's it for me so I don't know what I've got planned for the week ahead I to be honest with you, I'm away this weekend with my middle daughter, Isabel. She's in a cheerleading competition. So we're going away on Friday evening, all the way through to Sunday. So there won't be any sewing over the weekend. And I just don't know what I'm going to do next week. I think there's be an element of over the next week, just refocusing and deciding on what I want to make. But yeah, total loss of soda at the moment, guys. So let me know your thoughts on it. Let me know your thoughts on how you get rid of things in your wardrobe that you've made. Um, I contemplated not putting a vlog out this week because I didn't want to be like a bit of a downer. Um, but I think it's important to share with you guys that, you know, I always try and be quite a positive person, but sometimes it can be, you know, life gets hard, things get in the way. And yeah, sometimes I don't feel like sewing. And this week I haven't really. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Anyway, so if you've liked this video, please click the like button. If you don't subscribe already, please, please, please subscribe. I am like nearly, nearly, nearly there. I think I need about 130, no, 150 follower subscribers to get to my 5,000 um, 
milestone so yeah please subscribe if you don't already it doesn't cost you anything um, you won't be annoyed by me if you only click the notification bell is the only reason you'll get um, notifications if you just subscribe it just helps my channel get out there to more people um, to view my content if you also want to support my channel further I do have a Ko-fi account where you can buy me a Ko-fi um, buy me a coffee um, a virtual coffee and um, I appreciate all your support if you do but if you don't that's okay too Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. I will see you all soon. And I look forward to seeing, reading all your comments. Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye. Happy sewing.